Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's intraday analysis video brought to you by the creators of proprietary price, pattern, and time methodology. Learn the PPT and profit for life. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here at InTheMoneyStocks.com. All right, bottom line is today's Tuesday, December 4th, 2012. The markets are slightly lower on the day. What we're seeing here is very light volume again today and a relatively slow bleed again. Yesterday we saw a gap up and a slow bleed lower. And today we really continued that until more recently where we popped out of the range. You can almost connect, you know, if you take the highs here and connect them down and the lows, you have a very, very tight channel. And I'll even do that right here so you can see this. And the market really was trading in that range going down until about 1 o'clock, in which point it broke up. Now actually you have a little bit of a bullish pattern here, but there's still a lot of resistance. Notice how the market came up here to the 50 moving average and the 200 and then sold off, and that's really what's holding it down right now. And again, there's this overall kind of mistrust of what's going on in the fiscal cliff debate. I mean, n investors and traders don't know if there's going to be an agreement meet reached. They don't know if there's going to you know, have a issue where we're going to go over the cliff, etc. And all these are causing kind of like this slow bleed in the market. It's not a panic sell-off because I think most people think they'll come to an agreement. But overall, by no means is it a rally market going forward. And in all fairness, if you look at the daily chart on the SPY, I mean, we were really overbought short term. If you take this low here and this move over, you were really due for a pullback, especially since you came into the 50 MA. So the 50 moving average really took us up into this range, and at that point we pulled back since then and came back in. All right, so that's what we have going on right there on the charts of the SPY, which mirrors the S&P 500. You have the SPY down 24 cents, NASDAQ is down 8 points, S&P down 1.5, and, and Dow is uh, up 7 points right now on the day. Uh, looking at a couple key stocks, we are seeing some decent pullbacks in Apple today. Apple again had a monumental move up off of its lows recently as well. If you go back here, you were almost to 500 bucks and almost to 600. So you came down just above 500 and, and went just a below 600. You're getting a little bit of a pullback today. My guess is it's probably headed back for this 20 moving average right around the 560 level, maybe a little bit lower. But short term, I think that's your target on Apple uh, Inc. right now. Other stocks under pressure, we're seeing uh, Google down a little bit today. But again, Google should be of no shock to anyone because if you look at the Google chart, you rallied up off of the 200 MA into the 50. So notice how these moving averages have worked really well for stocks recently. And again, Google is no different. You had a beautiful pierce of the 200 MA right here, and then you just pierced yesterday the 50. Notice how you pushed up off of the 200 and are now pulling back off the 50 MA. Um, one stock and a group of stocks under major pressure today are the Chinese ADRs, the large caps. Take a look at Baidu today, down $6.10 on the day. That's a big drop, folks. I mean, any way you cut it for a large cap stock that's a multi-billion dollar company, dropping $6 there, which is about 7% um, or so, that's a big drop. And again, you had the bearish pattern, so it shouldn't be a shock to anyone. If you read the charts correctly, you basically know what's going to happen. But notice this downward move and then this inside bar pattern right here into the 20. So, I mean, that was a bearish pattern. I actually was long right here on Baidu, and I sold right at the 20. So that was a genius move right there. Members here at In The Money Stocks took all their money off the table, and now we can see it going much, much lower. Going down-wise, where could be a short-term target on this? I think right now you're probably looking at the 88 level as being short-term downside. And then if you get through 88, you have 82 support and 77 support. So right now, again, we're hovering at around 89 to 90. There could be a little bit more downside. I wouldn't be surprised. Wide range bars like today have a tendency to go further lower, so just be aware of that, folks. Um, but... You know, in the short term, I would start to look for 88 support, and if that breaks, you're looking at 82 and then 77. All right. Uh, let's see what else here. On Chinese stock watch here, you can see Cena down $3.60, basically at the lows of the day. That stock continues to get pounded. What's even more amazing about Cena is that it made a p p topping tail right up here. So you had a beautiful topping tail, and then look at the fall since it was 70 bucks all the way down now to close to 40 bucks. I mean, that's a big time fall um, depreciation in that stock price. Taking a look at Sohu, another Chinese play down a buck 78. Maybe not down to the 52 week lows like a lot of the other ones, but nonetheless taking a hit today on SOHU. Uh, let's see what else we have here, folks. Just scanning through. Chevron is trading down 50 cents. Exxon's down 25. 
Goldman is down two bucks on the day. Goldman was stronger yesterday, getting very, very weak today, so that's coming back down. Um, there's a gap fill on Goldman right here. It's, this is the daily chart, so it's a little harder to see. But might be some support on Goldman right here at a uh, price point of uh, 115.50-ish, 115.60-ish area. Good gap fill there for a little intraday bounce. As the swing trade goes, I would not touch this until it goes to the 200 MA. All right, I think the 200 MA is your spot right now. That's what I'm looking forward to and uh, what I'll be watching. All right, one other stock that we talked about in depth to my members here, Lowe's, L-O-W. Everyone was bullish on this, therefore I went bearish based on not only the contrarian indicator of sentiment, but also the fact that you had two topping tails in a row, one topping tail, two topping tails out of four days, or actually out of three days, one, two, three, two topping tails, both valid, neither negating each other, and look at the nice drop on LOW today, down about 45 cents. Stock too extended, in my opinion, needs to pull back to at least the 20 moving average short term. Uh, research in motion's flat today, uh, JPM's down 45 cents. And we have a basic, again, slightly negative market today. Uh, Dow's up, but S&P and NASDAQ are lower across the board. Still that uneasiness about the fiscal cliff out there, and that's what we have to continue to watch. All right, guys, I'm going to be done here. Uh, get back to trading, making money, using the PPT methodology to profit for life. I encourage you to come join us ASAP. Uh, learn the PPT methodology, folks. That's where it's at. That's what I use to make my money. That's what all of our members are learning right now and beginning to make their money at. Uh, we'll teach it to you. I'll train you in it. Join the Research Center. Take the seven-day free trial. Take care.